New at six, Miami-Dade and Broward Public County Schools will be losing funding if a new proposal to punish schools that defy the state's ban on mask mandates is passed. Our Jacqueline Quinn has more on the possible budget squeeze. The punishment here isn't just a small amount of money, it's millions of dollars for these districts. So Dade County will be contributing $41.6 million and and Broward County will be contributing $32 million. State Representative Randy Fine says there is a penalty for districts that did not follow the state's ban on a mask mandate. We're reducing funding for central office administrative positions, making $100,000 a year or more. And frankly, it's a fair question to ask, why do we need 1,600 bureaucrats? But why does Representative Fine think it's necessary? We pass laws, you follow them. We're a democracy. And when you don't have to follow laws, you become, an, you become anarchy. Fine says 55 school districts will share the $200 million freed up by the 12 that did not. Miami-Dade and Broward among them. So both counties will be getting more funding. They, they won't be getting as much additional funding as they otherwise would. He doesn't think this is a decrease in funding because according to him, Broward County Public School will go from $2 billion to 2.1, while Miami-Dade is changing from $2.68 billion to $2.74 billion with the putting parents first adjustment. The entire Miami-Dade County Public School Board thinks it's unfair. Board member Luisa Santos was in Tallahassee when Fine proposed this measure. We are going to be unfairly punished for having stood up for the health and well-being of students and teachers. Newly appointed Broward County Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Vicki Cartwright called this a horrific practice. I am so, I'm deeply saddened that that's even under consideration because that's taking money away from our children. Um, they continue to defund education in a, a plethora of ways. Santos plans to take the fight to lawmakers to stop it. And so it's simply immoral to take away money from students and teachers in this moment where we are facing unprecedented learning, uh, unfinished learning that we need to catch up for. The bill will be on the floor next week. In Miami, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.